In a few moments, I will be showing you an animation of the phases of the moon. But before I do that, I want to raise the question here about what you think you would see if the sun and the moon were close together in the sky like this. Now if this scenario actually arose, which it commonly does in fact, you would actually not be able to perceive the stars or the moon because the sunlight would be so bright that it would light up the whole sky making it impossible to see anything else that's close to the sun's position. So let's consider a scenario in which the sun and the moon are a little further apart than this although not very far apart. So here is such a scenario. Let's also say that the sun has set, making it easier to spot the moon. Now notice in this picture that the moon is shaped like a narrow crescent. I'm going to claim that based on this picture in which the sun has just set below the horizon and the moon is slightly above the horizon and is shaped like a narrow crescent, you can figure out from this picture whether the sun is closer to the earth or the moon. How would you do that? Let's assume that the sun is closer to the earth than the moon. If the sun was closer to the earth, then when the sun and the moon are relatively close together in the sky, the moon should be seen as mostly illuminated because the sun being closer to the earth would be in the front and so rays from the sun should be illuminating most of the moon's surface, at least most of the moon's surface that is facing us. So we should almost see a full moon, but instead we get a moon that is shaped like a very very thin crescent. This doesn't make sense if the sun was closer to us than the moon, because as I just said, if it was closer the light from the sun should be hitting the moon from the front and so it should cover a large area that would be visible to us. But if the sun is much farther away than the moon, then most of the light from the sun must be hitting the moon's surface from behind. That's why we would see only a thin sliver of light from the moon. because most of the sunlit surface is behind. We can't see it. This means the sun must be behind the moon or farther away from the moon. So the sun must be at a much greater distance from the earth than the moon is.